In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. And do not dispute with the people of the book, save in the best way, except for those of them who act unjustly, and say, We believe in what has been sent down unto us, and sent down unto you, and our God and your God is one, and to him do we submit. And thus have we sent down unto you the book. So some of those whom we have given the book believe in it, and of these pagans there are those who believe in it, and none deny our signs, except the unbelievers. And you did not recite before it any book, nor did you transcribe one with your right hand. Indeed, the talkers of vanities would have doubted. Nay, it, the Qur'an, these are clear signs in the breasts of those who have been granted the knowledge, and none but the unjust reject our signs. And they say, Why have signs, miracles, not been sent down upon him from his Lord? Say, the signs are only with Allah, and I am only a plain warner. And is it not enough for them that we have sent down to you the book which is recited to them? Verily in this there is mercy, and a reminder for a people who believe. Say, Allah is sufficient as a witness between me and you. He knows what is in the heavens and the earth, and those who believe in the falsehood and disbelieve in Allah They are the losers. And they demand of you to hasten the chastisement, and had not a term been appointed, the chastisement would certainly have come to them, but it shall certainly come upon them suddenly, when they are not aware. They demand of you to hasten the chastisement, and verily hell encompasses the unbelievers. On the day when the chastisement shall cover them from above them and from beneath their feet, and he shall say, Taste now what you were doing. O my servants who believe, verily my earth is vast, therefore me alone should you worship. Every soul tastes death, then unto us you shall be returned. And those who believe and do righteous deeds, we will certainly lodge them in lofty chambers of paradise beneath which rivers flow, therein dwelling forever. How excellent is the recompense of those who act aright, those who are patiently steadfast, and on their Lord do they rely. And how many a moving creature that does not carry its own provision, but Allah sustains it and you, and he is the hearing, the knowing. And if you ask them, Who created the heavens and the earth, and made the sun and the moon subservient? They will certainly say, Allah, whence are they then perverted? Allah enlarges the sustenance for whichever of his servants he pleases, and he grants him by strict measure, as he pleases. Verily Allah is well cognizant of all things. And if you ask them, Who sends down water from the heaven and gives life with it unto the earth after its death? They will certainly say, Allah, say, All praise is due to Allah, but most of them do not ponder. And this life of the world is nothing but a sport and a play, and verily the abode of the hereafter is certainly the real life, did they but know. So when they ride in the ships, they call upon Allah sincerely, vowing worship only unto Him, and when He brings them safe to the land, they associate others with Him. Thus, Let them be ungrateful for what we have given them, and let them enjoy, but they shall soon know. Have they not seen that we have appointed a sanctuary, secure, while the people are snatched away from all around them? Will they still believe in the falsehood, and disbelieve in the bounty of Allah? And who is more unjust than one who forges a lie against Allah, or belies the truth when it has come to him? Is there not a home in hell for the disbelievers? And those who strive hard for us, we will certainly guide them in our ways. And verily Allah is with the good doers. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Alif Lam Mim The Romans have been defeated in a near land, but they, after being defeated, 
will soon be victorious. Within a few years, to Allah belongs the command before and after, and on that day the believers shall rejoice. With the help of Allah, He helps whom He pleases, and He is the mighty, the merciful. This victory is Allah's promise. Allah does not fail His promise, but most people do not know. They know only the appearance of the life of this world, and they are heedless of the hereafter. Have they not pondered upon themselves? Allah did not create the heavens and the earth and what is between them but with truth and for an appointed term? And verily most of the people are deniers of the meeting of their Lord at the resurrection. Have they not travelled in the earth and seen how was the end of these before them? They were stronger than them in strength, and they ploughed up the earth and cultivated it more than they themselves have cultivated it. And their messenger came to them with clear proofs, miracles, which they rejected to their own destruction. So Allah would never deal with them unjustly, but they dealt unjustly with their own selves. Then evil was the end of those that did evil, for they belied the signs of Allah, and at them they used to mock. Allah originates the creation, then reproduces it, then unto him you shall be returned. And on the day when the hour will come, the guilty shall be in despair. And these shall not be for them any intercessors from among their partner gods, and they shall disbelieve in their partners. And on the day when the hour will come, that day they shall be divided. And as for those who believed and did righteous deeds, they shall be made happy in a garden of paradise. And as for those who disbelieved and rejected our signs and the meeting of the hereafter, those shall be arraigned into the chastisement. So glory be to Allah when you enter the evening and when you enter the morning. And to him belongs praise in the heavens and the earth, and at nightfall, and when you are at midday. He brings forth the living from the dead, and brings forth the dead from the living, and gives life to the earth after its death, and thus shall you be brought forth. And one of his signs is that he created you from dust, and then behold, you are human beings scattered in the world. And of his signs is that he created spouses for you from yourselves, that you may repose in them, and he has set between you love and mercy. Verily there are signs in this for a people who reflect. And of his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the variety of your languages and your colours. Verily there are signs in this for the learned. And of his signs is your sleeping by night and day and your seeking after his grace. Verily there are signs in this for a people who hear. And of his signs is that he shows you the lightning for fear and for hope, and that he sends down water from the heaven and gives life therewith to the earth after its death. Verily there are signs in this for a people who understand. And of his signs is that the heaven and the earth subsist by his command. Then after your death, when he summons you once, and suddenly out of the earth, behold, you come forth. To him belongs every being that is in the heavens and the earth, all are subservient unto him. And he it is who originates the creation, then he brings it back again, and it is easier for him than the first creation. And his is the sublime similitude in the heavens and the earth, and he is the mighty, the wise. He sets forth to you a parable relating to yourselves. Have you among those whom your right hands possess partners in what we have given you for sustenance, so that with respect to it you are alike, you fear them as you fear each other? Thus do we explain the signs in detail for a people who understand. Nay, those who are unjust follow their low desires without any knowledge. So who can guide them whom Allah leaves astray, and they shall have no helpers? So set your face to the religion being upright, the nature framed of Allah, in which He has created mankind. There is no altering of Allah's creation. That is the right religion. 
but most people do not know. Turn you to him, and fear him, and perform the prayer, and be not of the idolaters, of those who split up their religion, and have become sects, every party rejoicing in what is with them. And when harm afflicts men, they call upon their Lord, turning to him. Then when he makes them taste of mercy from him, behold, some of them associate partners with their Lord, that they may be ungrateful for what we have given them. Take your enjoyment, certainly you will soon know. Or have we sent down any authority upon them, such as it speaks of what they associate with him? And when we make people taste of mercy, they rejoice in it. And if an evil befalls them for what their own hands have forwarded, behold, they despair. Do they not see that Allah enlarges the provision for whomever he pleases and straightens? Verily there are signs in this for a people who believe. So give what is due to kindred, the needy, and the wayfarer, that is best for those who seek the pleasure of Allah, and those are they that are prosperous. And that which you give in present, so that it may increase in the property of men, it will not increase with Allah. And whatever you give in charity, zakat, seeking the pleasure of Allah, it is these persons that shall get manifold. Allah is He who created you, then gave you sustenance, then He shall make you die, then He shall bring you to life. Is there any of your associate gods who does anything of that? Glory be to Him, and exalted high is He, far above what they associate with Him. Mischief has appeared in the land and the sea because of what the hands of men have wrought, that he may make them taste a part of what they have done, so that they may turn away from evil. Say, travel in the land, then see how was the end of those before. Most of them were polytheists. Then set your face to the established religion before there comes a day from Allah which cannot be averted. On that day people shall become separated. Whoever disbelieves, his unbelief shall be charged against him, and whoever does good deed, for their own selves they are preparing. That he may reward those who believe and do righteous deeds out of his grace, verily he does not love the unbelievers. And among his signs is that he sends forth the winds bearing good tidings of rain, and that he may make you taste of his mercy, and that the ships may run by his command and that you may seek sustenance of His grace, and that you may be grateful. And we did indeed send before you messengers unto their people, and they came to them with clear proofs. Then we took vengeance upon those who were guilty, and helping the believers is ever incumbent on us. It is Allah who sends forth the winds, so they raise a cloud, then He spreads it forth in the sky as He pleases and breaks it into fragments, so that you see the rain coming forth from inside it. Then when he causes it to fall upon whom he pleases of his servants, behold, they rejoice. Although before it was sent down on them, they had been in despair. Look then at the traces of Allah's mercy, how he gives life to the earth after its death. Verily he is the giver of life to the dead, and he is all-powerful over all things. And if we send a wind from which they see their tilth turned yellow, they certainly become thereafter disbelievers, ungrateful. For verily you cannot make the dead listen, nor can you make the deaf hear the call when they turn away backward. Nor can you lead the blind out of their straying, only those will you make hear who believe in our signs, and so they submit. Allah is He who created you out of weakness. Then He gave strength after weakness. Then after strength He appointed weakness and gray hair. He creates what He pleases, and He is the knowing, the powerful. And on the day that the hour of judgment will be established, the guilty will swear that they tarried not but an hour. Thus were they used to being deluded. And those who have been given knowledge and faith will say to the guilty, 
Certainly you have tarried according to Allah's book till the day of resurrection. So this is the day of resurrection, but you did not know. So on that day their excuse shall not profit those who did injustice, nor will they be allowed to make amends. And indeed we have set forth for the people in this Qur'an every kind of similitude, and if you bring unto them a sign, certainly those who disbelieve will say, You are naught but follow falsehood. Thus does Allah set a seal on the hearts of those who do not know. So be patient, verily the promise of Allah is true, and let not those who have no certainty hold you in light estimation. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Alif Lam Mim. These are the verses of the Book of Wisdom, a guidance and a mercy for the righteous ones. Those who establish prayer and pay the porate, and they are certain of the hereafter, these are on true guidance from their Lord, and they are the ones who are successful. And there are among men those who purchase idle talk to lead others astray from the way of Allah without knowledge, and to take it in mockery, for these shall be a disgracing chastisement. And when our signs are recited to him, he turns back proudly, as if he had not heard them, as though in his ears were a heaviness, therefore give him the tidings of a painful chastisement. Verily those who believe and do righteous deeds for them are the gardens of bliss. To dwell therein, the promise of Allah is true, and He is the mighty, the wise. He created the heavens without any pillars as you see them, and He cast mountains on the earth, lest it shakes with you, and He spread in it of every kinds of animals, and we sent down water from the heaven, then we caused to grow therein vegetables of every noble kind, in pairs. This is Allah's creation, but show me what those besides Him have created. Nay, the unjust are in a manifest straying. And indeed we gave wisdom to Luqman, saying, Be grateful to Allah, and whoever is grateful, he is only grateful for his own soul, and whoever is ungrateful, he does no harm to him, for verily Allah is self-sufficient praised. And remember when Luqman said to his son, admonishing him, O my son, do not associate anything with Allah, for verily polytheism is a grievous iniquity. And we did enjoin upon man concerning his parents. His mother bore him with fainting upon fainting, and his weaning takes two years, saying, Be grateful to me and to your parents, Unto me is the ultimate return of all. And if they both contend with you that you should associate with me what you have no knowledge of, do not obey them, and keep company with them in this world kindly, and follow the way of him who turns to me, then unto me is the return of you all, and then will I inform you of what you were doing. O my son, if there be your deed but the weight of a mustard seed, and it were hidden in a rock, or in the heavens, or in the earth, Allah will bring it forth. For verily Allah is all subtle, all aware. O my son, keep up the prayer, and enjoin the good, and forbid the evil, and patiently persevere against whatever may befall you, for this patience is among the necessary and important affairs. And do not turn your face away from people in contempt, nor walk in the earth exultantly. Verily Allah does not love any self-conceited boaster. And be moderate in your pace, and lower your voice. Verily the most unpleasant of voices is the braying of the asses. Have you not seen that Allah has made subservient to you whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth, and He has lavished on you His blessings outward and inward? And among the people is he who disputes concerning Allah without knowledge, and without any guidance, and without any book giving light. And when it is said to them, Follow what Allah has sent down, they say, We shall follow that on which we found our fathers. What? Would they do it, even if Satan were calling them to the chastisement of the blazing fire? 
And whoever submits himself truly to Allah, and he be a doer of good, he indeed has taken hold of the firmest handhold, a rope, and unto Allah is the end of all affairs. And whoever disbelieves, let not his disbelief grieve you, unto us is their return, then will we inform them of what they did. Verily Allah is the knower of what is in the hearts. We give them to enjoy a little, then will we drive them to a severe chastisement. And if you ask them, Who created the heavens and the earth? Certainly they will say, Allah. Say, All praise is Allah's. Nay, most of them do not know. What is in the heavens and in the earth is Allah's. Verily Allah is the self-sufficient, the most praised. And if all the trees on the earth were pens, and the sea added to seven seas were ink in the writing, yet would not the words of Allah be exhausted. Verily Allah is the mighty, the wise. Your creation and your raising after your death are only as the creation and the raising of a single soul. Verily Allah is hearing, seeing. Have you not seen that Allah merges the night into the day and merges the day into the night? And he has made the sun and the moon subservient, each passing till an appointed time, and that Allah is aware of what you do? This is because Allah is the truth, and because whatever they call upon besides him is falsehood, and because Allah, he is the high, the great. Have you not seen that the ships ran on in the sea by Allah's favor, that he may show you of his signs? Verily in this are signs for every steadfast, patient, grateful one. And when a wave covers them like the canopy of clouds, they call upon Allah in sincere devotion unto him. But when he has delivered them to the land, some of them follow the middle course, and none denies our signs except every perfidious, ungrateful one. O people, be in awe of your Lord and dread the day when no father shall avail anything for his son, nor a son shall avail anything for his father. Verily the promise of Allah is true, so let not the life of the world beguile you, nor let the deluder delude you concerning Allah. Verily Allah is he with whom is the knowledge of the hour, and he sends down the rain, and he knows what is in the wombs, and no one knows what he shall earn tomorrow, and no one knows in what land he shall die. Verily Allah is knowing, aware. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Alif Lam Mim The revelation of the book, there is no doubt in it, is from the Lord of the Worlds. Or do they say, He the Prophet has forged it, Nay, it is the truth from your Lord, that you may warn a people to whom no warner came before you, that perhaps they may be guided aright. Allah is he who created the heavens and the earth and what is between them in six days. Then he established himself on Arsh, the throne of authority. For you there is none besides him of a guardian, nor any intercessor. Will you not then receive admonition? He directs the affair of this world from the heaven to the earth. Then shall it ascend to him in a day, the measure of which is a thousand years of what you reckon. This is the knower of the hidden and the manifest, the mighty, the merciful. He who made best everything that he created, and he began the creation of man from clay. Then he made his progeny of an extraction of mean water. Then he fashioned him, and breathed into him of his spirit, and appointed for you hearing, and sight, and hearts, but little is it that you give thanks. And they said, When we are lost in the earth, shall we even then be returned into a new creation? Nay, they are disbelievers in the meeting of their Lord. Say, The angel of death, who is put in charge of you, shall cause you to die then unto your Lord you shall be brought back. And if you could see when the guilty hang down their heads before their Lord, saying, Our Lord, 
We have seen and we have heard what you had promised. Therefore send us back to the world. We will do righteousness. Verily now we are certain. And if we had pleased, we would certainly have given to every soul its guidance. But the true word which has gone forth from me, certainly will I fill hell with the jinn and men together. So taste the recompense because you neglected the meeting of this day of yours. Verily we too forsake you, and taste the abiding chastisement for what you were doing. Only those believe in our signs who, when they are reminded of them, fall down prostrating in obedience and celebrate the praise of their Lord, and they are not proud. Their sides draw away from their beds, they call upon their Lord in fear and in hope and they spend in charity out of the sustenance that we have bestowed on them. And no person knows what important reward is hidden for them of the joy of the eyes in recompense for what good they were doing. Is he then who is a believer, like him who is a transgressor? They are not equal. As for those who believe and do righteous deeds, the gardens of bliss are their abiding place and entertainment for what they used to do. And as for those who transgress, their abode is the fire. Whenever they desire to go out of it, they shall be brought back into it, and it shall be said to them, Taste the chastisement of the fire which you used to deny. And indeed we make them taste of the nearer chastisement in this world, before the greater chastisement in the hereafter, that perhaps they may return to Allah. And who is more unjust than he who is reminded of the signs of his Lord, then he turns away from them. We shall take vengeance upon the guilty. And certainly we gave the book, Torah, to Moses, so be not in doubt of his receiving it, and we appointed it guidance for the children of Israel. And we appointed from among them leaders who guided people by our command, when they endured patiently, and they were quite certain of our signs. Verily your Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning that wherein they used to differ. Does it not point out to them the right way, how many of the generations in whose abodes they go about we destroyed before them? Verily in that are signs. Do they not then hear? Have they not seen that we drive the water to the parched land, and we bring forth thereby crops of which their cattle and themselves eat? Will they not then see? And they ask, When shall be this victory, if you are truthful? Say, On the day of victory, the faith of those who disbelieve will not profit them, nor will they be respited. Therefore turn away from them and wait. Verily they too do wait. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. O Prophet, be in awe of Allah and do not obey the disbelievers and the hypocrites. Verily Allah is all-knowing, all-wise. And follow what is revealed to you from your Lord. Verily Allah is aware of what you do. And rely on Allah and Allah is sufficient as a protector. Allah has not made for any man two hearts within him, nor has he made your wives whom you divorce by Zahar your mothers, nor has he made your adopted sons your real sons. These are the words of your mouths, and Allah tells you the truth, and he guides unto the right way. Call them after their true fathers, that is more equitable with Allah. But if you do not know their fathers, then they are your brethren in faith and your friends, and there is no blame on you concerning that in which you made a mistake, but what you do with intent of heart, you are responsible, and Allah is forgiving, merciful. The Prophet is closer to the believers than their own selves, and his wives are as their mothers, and blood relations among each other have closer personal ties in the Book of Allah than the believers and the emigrants, except that you do some good to your friends. This ordinance is written in the book. And remember when we took a covenant from the prophets and also from you, and from Noah and Abraham and Moses and Jesus, son of Mary, and we took from them a firm covenant. 
that he might question the truthful of their truthfulness, and he has prepared for the unbelievers a painful chastisement. O you who believe, remember Allah's blessing upon you when hosts came against you, so we sent upon them a strong wind and hosts that you saw not, and Allah sees what you do. When they came against you from above you and from below you, and when the eyes swerved and the hearts reached to the throats, and you did imagine about Allah diverse thoughts. There it was that the believers were tried, and they were shaken a tremendous shaking. And when the hypocrites and those in whose heart was a disease were saying, Allah and his messenger promised us naught but a delusion. And when a party of them said, O you, the people of Yathrib, there is no place for you to stand here, so go back. And a group of them asked permission of the Prophet, saying, Verily our houses are exposed, and they were not exposed. They only intended to flee away from battlefield. And if an entry had been made upon them from all sides of the city, then they had been asked to apostatize, they would certainly have done it, and they would not have stayed in it but a little while. And indeed they had made a covenant with Allah before that, that they would not turn their backs to the enemy, and covenants with Allah shall be questioned of. Say, flight will never avail you if you flee from death or slaying, and in that case you will not be allowed to enjoy yourselves but a little. Say, who is he that shall defend you from Allah, if he desires punishment for you, or desires mercy for you? and they shall find for themselves, apart from Allah, neither a protector nor a helper. Indeed, Allah knows those who hinder others among you, and those who say unto their brethren, Come to us, and they come not to the fight but a little, being miserly with respect to you. But when fear comes, you will see them looking to you, their eyes rolling like one who swoons of death. But when the fear departs, they smite you with sharp tongues, being miserly of the good things. Those have never believed, and so Allah has made their deeds in vain, and that is easy for Allah. They think that the clans have not withdrawn, and if the clans should come again, they would wish they were in the deserts, wandering among the Bedouins, and seeking news about you, and if they were in your midst, they would fight not but a little. Indeed, in the Messenger of Allah you have an excellent pattern of conduct for him who hopes in Allah and the last day, and remembers Allah much. And when the believers saw the allies, they said, This is what Allah and his Messenger promised us, and Allah and his Messenger spoke the truth, and it increased not in them but faith and submission. Among the believers are men who were true to their covenant with Allah, some of them have fulfilled their vow by martyrdom, and some are still awaiting, and they have not changed in the least. That Allah may recompense the truthful ones for their truthfulness, and chastise the hypocrites if he pleases, or turn unto them mercifully, verily Allah is forgiving, merciful. And Allah sent back those who disbelieved in their wrath, they gained no good, and Allah sufficed the believers of fighting, and Allah is strong, mighty. And he drove down those of the people of the book, the Jews, who supported them from their fortresses, and he cast awe into their hearts, some you killed and some you made captive. And he made you heirs of their lands, their dwellings, and their properties, and a land you had not trodden, and Allah is all-powerful over everything. O Prophet, say to your wives, If you desire the life of this world and its adornment, then come, I will provide you enjoyment and set you free in a handsome manner. And if you desire Allah and His Messenger and the abode of hereafter, then verily Allah has prepared for the doers of good among you a great reward. O wives of the Prophet, Whoever of you commits an open indecency, the punishment for her will be doubled, and that is easy for Allah.